What's up, guys? Welcome to the world's greatest sports betting show. I'm your host, John Heislop, joined, as always, by the amazing Matt Modi. What's up, Matt? What's up, Slop? How we doing? Ah, just living the dream, man. The I'm, dream. Um, I'm, I'm kind of pumped for a Wednesday full slate because I think we're starting at 1230 today. The game. Sounds right. Know? Yeah. I mean, that's what Wednesdays are great because it's, it's they always have a bunch of day games because like teams traveling and stuff. Yeah. So Wednesdays are fun because like if you hit it right, you could get someone at like 1230 and then just just ride that wave the rest of the day. Yeah. You could literally be gambling all day, which yeah. is I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't know about you, but that's my goal. <laughs> that's one thing I will say um, that baseball has over the other sports is the fact that it could be Wednesday or Thursday at like noon and you got action. Yeah. Sorry, that's I'm drawing in a little bit. We um, sent the kids back to school today. So everyone's out of the house. It's just the dogs now. And um, I gave them bones. To keep them, you know what I'm saying, busy. But each of them wants the one the other one has. So, Oh, yeah. I kind know of that. Fail. I got two dogs. I know. That they only ever want what the other one has. Yeah. And it's like, all right, why? Well, I, I mean, I thought I cracked the code. And then I just realized I made it worse. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what happens. We're going to have construction at the house, I think, starting next week. So it's it, none of this matters. You know what I mean? It's just going to be... A shit show going forward so might as well start today why not you know yeah there you go perfect to get that started right before football season too yeah i see it was supposed to start in july but um it just didn't so yeah yeah as that goes it's what it is i think it's gonna be fine i don't think it's gonna end up mattering because we're gonna hit a bunch of bangers yesterday we did not do great but um but we didn't do bad you get to call Kerry Carpenter, Barry. Yeah, for that I now am able to. Very exciting. I like calling him Barry. I like when people get mad that I call him Barry. Like, it's Kerry. It's like, shut up, buddy. Like, you are so far behind with a statement like that. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not even – I don't know what to say. I don't want to say anything mean about people. But, uh, yeah, so Bregman did not do anything. Lindor did not do anything. But since you're betting dingers, if you hit a plus 475 and you only have three bets – you win money. So that's good. Yeah. That was yeah. good. My guy is not great. Shohei Otani, I still would bet him at plus 400 no matter who he's facing any day. So whatever. And then, I mean, I, dude, I had the right read on the cruises. I just had the wrong cruise because Brian De La Cruz actually hit a home run. Ellie and O'Neal did not. Yeah. And so, the O'Neal thing hurts because if you look at his game log, I think he had four hits above 100 miles per hour. They yeah. just all happen to be hit directly into the ground. Like yeah, negative. He, um, he hits the ball yeah. hard. Yeah. It's what it is, though. I mean, that's that's the nature of betting home runs. We talk about it every day. It's not a a linear thing. Not that sports betting really is linear, but the, the most linear you can get probably is like in the minus 110 range. Yeah. And then as you stray away from that, it tends to – well, your profits, not your wins. Your profits, I'm saying – because, yeah, I mean, you could probably win a very good percentage of minus 300 bets, but <laughs> your profit won't be very good. Yeah, and then, like, I mean, Dingers is, like, the top of the list of of what we're talking about here, where it's, like, I mean, even if you're, if you're like, your strikeout props have a lower odds than most, I'm guessing, most of the Dingers that you play. Like, plus yeah. 200 is, is still a, a plus money banger, but we're, it's not plus 475, plus 450, you know? No. No, D Dingers are for men. <laughs> and women and women real men and real women all right not n no fakes you know what i mean like you you gotta have some testicular fortitude let's say yeah dingers aren't for for cowards is to, how i like yeah to, say it. to make it for like an entire summer betting these but again there's some dark days but the good ones are so good it's not even funny and that's why we do this i'm gonna let you go first today Honestly, you want my you want honesty here? I got a I got a few. I got a handful. And um I don't really think they're any different than the other one. So it doesn't really you know what I'm saying? Like there's days where you're like, I gotta get this one, I gotta get yeah. that one. But I'm gonna pretend like that's not the case and pretend like this is me just being nice. You know what I mean? And saying, Matt, sure. you go first. 
Sure. I whenever I go first, I try to make sure I if I think you're going to be on someone, then I'll go with them. But I, do. I don't think you'll I don't think you'll be on this guy. But it, he's also too good to pass up. Um, I'm going to go with Helio Ramos plus okay. seven fifty odds at DraftKings and. I believe the other book was Fanatics, if you don't mind. I see you have this, the odd champ screen up here. Yeah, I'm going to grab him right now. It's, yeah. um, it's Elliot Ramos, just so you know. Not trying to correct you, but... um, Is it really? It's not Helio? Yeah, no, because... um, I'll tell you how I did. I said the same thing, and then someone said, hey, it's Elliot Ramos. So I looked it up. I was like, what? And yeah, for whatever reason, he's got an H in front of Elliot. You don't see that a lot, not on the streets, not on my streets. I didn't know that. But, but yeah, Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. Look at FanDuel. That's insane. Look at Bovada, and then look at every other book. Look at look at Pinnacle. And Pinnacle plus six hundred. So that MGM price, it was actually seven fifty. Or sorry, DraftKings. So DraftKings was at eight hundred. They went down to seven fifty, and then I guess BetMGM, who like I don't even bother looking at them for my own purposes for obvious reasons. I guess they're at seven seventy five. That's a hammer. I mean, th there's no way this guy should be priced in the in the plus 700s. And I I get why the haters are going to say that he's facing a righty and he's not facing a lefty and he's not as good against righties. Um, I will say that he has four barrels in his last seven days. Only four more batters have more than that in the last week, and it's pretty good company. That's Giancarlo Stanton, Salvador Perez, Aaron Judge, and Bobby Wood Jr. The only only guys that have more than than Elliot Ramos with four. And he's absolutely going up against the dinger guy, Freddie Peralta of the Brewers. He's a dong ball pitcher, 100% dong ball pitcher. Home run per nine of 1.79 in his last 10 starts. That's bad. 9% barrel rate, 19.3 degree launch angle. Those are bad. And Peralta, even though this is a righty versus righty matchup, which I get it, Elliot Ramos is better against lefties. Peralta has actually given up more home runs against righties, despite also being a righty. And he's mm -hmm. also seen less of them. 13 home runs to righties to nine against lefties and fewer at-bats against righties. And the real kicker here is Ramos against the four-seam fastball. Peralta throws it over 50% of the time. It's going to be the pitch that he sees the most frequently. I mean, if you just pull him up on Zeus, if you don't mind, it's going to be, I guess, so for me, when I look at it, the source I use is red. Zeus, it's going to be, or sorry, green. Zeus, it's going to be just red across the board and look like 108 off the bat on a four seam fastball. Everything that's red is against the four seam fastball 107.8, 390 feet off of a four seam fastball. 111, that's a slider. And that's the next most frequent pitch you'll see is a slider. Yeah, so wild. all this the guy red you smashing, see yeah. are the pitches that he will see from Freddie Peralta, who loves giving up home runs to right handed pitchers right hand yeah hands, Wu's a tough guy to hit over the fence and i mean if you're listening on spotify or apple you can't see it but uh we're looking at the zeus analytics uh game logs and he's got a dinger off of Wu, who Wu's not really a dinger he's guy, not a dinger at guy all. Yeah. i i stay away from him typically so that's pretty impressive I, I like it i like the idea of that the price is just so much different like it's it's not even close. Like you, it's not even close. If you played that at FanDuel and you're going out with your buddy, and you guys are going to go watch the game, and you show them your bets, like dude, I got Ramos 480, and then your buddy looked at you and be like, dude, you're an idiot. Cause I got him at 750. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like your buddy would lose respect for you like immediately in that situation, just because why would you? have 480 when i have seven plus like that's yeah. crazy it's cr it's crazy okay so do not bet that at uh fanduel whatever you do just, and pay attention to prices like we're getting into football season where i mean obviously it's important in every sport but football especially like if you're listening to this show you're probably gonna be doing player props the, the best best line you know what i'm saying best line best price like that's the way um these books are pretty good at nfl if you even haven't heard so, you know, every little edge you can get, you got to take it, and it starts with the line and the price. Yeah. But that's a ridiculously bad price for Ramos at uh, FanDuel. That's crazy. Or it might be a good price, and everybody else is bad. True. All right, so I'm going to go to a guy that I call Matt Olson. I think other people call him that, too. So it's got a great cool. first name. Yep. 
Yep, great first name for this guy. If we're looking around, let me see. Looks like he's 420 at FanDuel, 411 at Pinnacle, 390 at DraftKings. We're pretty much in market no matter where you're playing. Uh, FanDuel looks to be the best. Bet GM actually is the best 425, but again, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm yawning, man. I'm yawning. I'm tired. Hey. Dude, Don't kids back to school, man. That's what matters. That's what matters. We got them on the bus. They are out of here. And there's been peace and quiet here, so I'm happy. But anyways, we're going to see Minnesota. It's going to be in Minnesota. I think the wind's kind of blowing in from right field, but that doesn't really scare me that much. I don't think it matters when it's like five miles per hour, so I don't really care about that. Olsen's going to see a kid named David Festa, and he's been good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like him as a strikeout guy. I think he's got like, he's got 44 and 36 innings. So he's on my radar for strikeouts a lot. And the other thing, though, is dingers. Seven home runs, 36 innings pitched. That's that's not great. That's not, not like great. you're getting sent down. Uh, but at the same time, that's not good. Four of those to lefties, three to righties, so it's a split. The thing is, he's seen more lefties, though, than righties, so there is that. But I guess the point is it doesn't really matter. You can go righty or lefty. A lot of the uh, casuals are going to go Marcelo Zuna. And I'm telling you, I don't think we should fall for that. I think it's Matt Olson all day, all night. He's got two home runs the last couple of weeks. He's starting to hit the ball better. He's going to see a fastball, definitely the four-seamer. Talking in the last 30 days, four-seamers from righties. We're talking almost 30% barrel rate, 42% in the air. That's crazy. That's actually I – mean, that, that's that's living right there. But yeah. also change-ups, though. He's only seen a, a handful of – well, actually 13 of them. That's not bad. 11% barrel rate. So he's getting barrels on these things. And like I said, I think he's starting to heat up. I just watched the um, – what's his last home run? Have you seen that one? Oh, a couple days ago? I didn't yeah. see it, but I know he hit one a couple days ago. Ball was up in the zone. I mean, it was just like – and he just kind of turned on it. You're just like, man, this guy – this guy's good. This, You know what I mean? Like, okay. like I, Is he back? Because he's been a rough I, year for – Yeah, I year. think he might be back. Uh, looking at Zeus, he had a 331-foot double on the uh, yesterday. So – he didn't hit one, but they had that. Day before that, he had a 420-foot home run. Well, 423. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from him. But he also had a 315-foot double. He had a 328-foot line out. All those balls are 100-plus. Every ball he hit that day went 100-plus. So all I'm saying is he's swinging a good bat. The Festa kid probably doesn't want to see this guy, especially after he sees Ozuna. He's going to be like, oh, man, I got through that. Sweet. And then he's not going to realize that, the, you know, the, the real pain has yet to come, and it's at the hands of Matt Olson. You in? Well, um, to, to peel back the curtain, Ozuna was going to be my next pick, but Ooh. I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't now because you're basically just calling me a sucker. The good news is I got other guys on my list, so okay. we, won't conf we won't confuse the people. Um, but I do like Matt Olson. Matt Olson's good. People too. think it's going to be Ozuna, dude. They do think that. So there is that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it. The other dog's got the bone, man. I mean, I don't blame her. Like, a lot of people would get mad at her. But, like, what do you want her to do? Sit there it's, and just take it? It's on you the dog's I mean? that's, that's what I my, – my, that's what I tell my fiance. It's on the dogs to figure it out amongst themselves. They got to yeah. establish their own little hierarchy. Yeah, they got to figure it out, man. Yeah. I mean, in, in the other dog's defense, the big dog, the little dog left the bone there and took off running. She, she's got to know better than that. Yeah. Like, you can't. Sure. We're not sure. leaving bones. You know what I mean? Like, what yeah. are you thinking? Like, you, like the big dog's not going to go get that. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> little dog. Yeah, so it's uh, Marley and Oakley. Marley and Oakley. Yeah. Yep. All right, so you're going Ozuna. I don't think you should get bullied out of taking Ozuna. Well, it's technically it's your pick, but if since we're already talking about Azuna, um, all right, yeah, I mean he was going to be my my next pick. Okay. Um, so we you talked about David Festa. He's been good in his last four starts, but yeah, if, you look at the if you look at the teams he's played, it's not like he's played anybody that good. No. Nope. And if you look at all of his starts, thirty six innings pitched, as you mentioned, one point seven three home run per nine, bad, 
9.9% barrel rate, bad. 17.4 degree launch angle, bad. Equally bad against lefties and righties. So Matt Olson can mash a dinger off him easily. So can Marcel Azuna. Um, you mentioned that the four seam fastball. He's another guy that looks good in the, um, yeah, I guess I should talk about the price. 370 is what I got him at, at FanDuel. Okay. 320 at Caesars. So you're getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a value. Nothing as, nothing as crazy as the Elliot Ramos one, but that's like once in a season type of discrepancy. I love how you're saying his name right now. I love that. Yeah. Well, I, that's awesome. I, yeah. Got it. I mean, the guy deserves to have his name pronounced correctly. Um, he does. He does. Especially if you're going to put money on him. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, Festa, as you mentioned, loves on the four seam fastball against righties about 42% of the time. Mm -hmm. Azuna crushes four seamers. 13.68% barrel rate, 59% hard hit rate over the last, or sorry, on the season. Uh, ISO rate of 31.6%. Next up is going to be a slider and a changeup. And against that pitch mix, 18.75% barrel rate, 50% hard hit rate in the last two weeks. Um, I love Azuna in this one. Yeah, I guess it's really just those. Is this against righties? This was last. This yeah, it's against righties, but uh, three hundred ninety nine foot double last night. That was that's that was following a three hundred ninety six foot flyout. <laughs> so I mean, exactly, that yeah, that's what we're looking at here. If you had him yesterday, you got to be like, what are we doing? Like, what happened? Like, yeah, you're not ha you're not happy. Yeah, it's like man, I called that right. Guy three hundred ninety nine feet. It's not a home run. If I was in charge, that would always be a home run, no matter where you play. I mean, 399, 396 in the same game, none of those being home runs, like that is that is painful. Yep, and everything uh, went 100 mile or plus. Actually, he had a 95 mile an hour ground out, and then he walked. So, I mean, this dude was just on it. Yeah. Yeah, so he's, he's back. He's ready. All right, so I'll, I'll take my two now. Um, just because we were already talking about it soon. Like, there's no rules on this show. It doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah. That's what makes it the world's greatest sports betting show. That's a valid point. That's a valid point. I'm I'm probably getting suckered in here, but I don't mind. I'll do it. I'm going to go Vladimir Guerrero, and this is literally just because of the vibes. Plus 550. Okay. I feel like that's a very good price for a guy like Vlad who's been doing what he's doing. Uh, it's seemingly like for the last month, maybe longer. But um, I'll tell you right now, the Bayo kid, I don't mind him at all. Don't get me wrong. All right, Brian Bayo. Yeah. He can he can get some. Like, he really, really can. Like, he he's the type that he's going to challenge you. So, I do love that. Like, we're not going to be walking around, guys. He's got a 7% fail rate on the season to right-handers, which isn't – that's not horrible. So in his defense, that's not horrible. That's not great, though. But he does throw a slider. And in the last month, Vlad is like 33% barrel rate against sliders from righties. It's pretty good. Yeah, 33% in the air, which, I mean, I wish that was better, but whatever it doesn't really matter. Um, and then once you look at his exit velocity logs, I mean, he, seem, he seems to just, just smash one, like, daily. Like, at least one. Uh, yesterday it was a 96 foot here. I'll bring that up. Sorry. I'm sorry. He had a 112 mile per hour double. Wow. 311 feet. He had a 101 foot single. He had a 96 mile per hour. I'm sorry. 96 mile per hour ground out. 101 mile per hour single. 112 mile per hour double. I mean, the, he is just hitting baseballs very hard and, and keep going down. Like I said, like this guy's log is just a lot of red. red. Yeah. Crime scene. So, Crime scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, what are we doing? So for that reason, Oh, has he seen Bayo? man? The little dog just wants to go. <laughs> I, I do like the little dog's fight though. Oakley is the little one. I gotta see real quick. Do we know if he's ever like? Not that this matters. We're definitely not a batter versus pitcher um, show. Only yeah, when it helps two, our point. He's got two dingers and twenty play appearances, three doubles, three singles, eight hits all day. So that's quick math. That's a four twenty one average. Not bad. A lot of yeah. guys get in the Hall of Fame when they hit four twenty one. 
So there's that. But yeah, Vlad just at 520 it's it's kind of embarrassing for the books. Like I don't I don't know if you're a sports book how you could possibly do that. I get it. Any love for Vlad or no? Any any thoughts? Um, I mean, I love targeting Bayo. I love Vlad. He didn't make my list today, but that doesn't mean, I mean, it's Vlad. He, he can go yard whenever he wants. He, I, I mean, and Vlad's one of those guys, he's like Bobby Witt. He just feel good when you press submit on that bet. I don't have Bobby Witt today, but there are certain guys you know are going to hit rockets. That yeah. You, you feel good about your chances. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm going to stay in the same game. Am I? <laughs> Am I? That's the question. Well, the only problem is there's no real data for my next one that I would like if I don't switch. But if I do, there might be data. We can go bunch. I'm I'm doing it anyways, man. I'm gonna go Ryan McMahon. He's gonna see Max Mayer. There's no data that supports this whatsoever. So don't look this up, anybody. There's really no reason to do this other than just just the feel man it just it feels right it feels like this is the time where ryan mcmahon starts breaking out i think he's got like one home run in the last month but it was a couple days ago yeah but it was just a couple days ago he's got mayor though or max is it meyer i think it's mayor i don't actually know that though all right well in my world it's max mayor it could be meyer mayor meyer tomato tomato whatever He's given up 11 home runs in 46 innings of work, so you got to target him in Colorado. Although I think Colorado, it's kind of played out now. Do you know what I mean? For, like, home runs, I don't know that it's what it was. I think they do something to the balls. Like, they get them wet or something like that, I heard. Well, I mean, people have been talking all season about dead balls. Maybe they're just extra dead when they play in Colorado. Yeah, I read something. Maybe I maybe I heard about it. I don't know how I found out about it, but um, I heard they got the balls wet first somehow, and then like dried them, but not fully dried. That could be a total lie. So I don't get sued, but I, I I think that's 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 what makes the most sense to me. But um, because why would the balls just not be flying out of the park anymore in Colorado? There's nothing changed about the air. They didn't change the air there. No, they didn't. Yeah, same air. Yeah, that's true. I think it's the yeah. I think it's the baseball. Yeah, they did something. But anyways, he's plus four sixty for everyone that can see. Everyone watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Sub to this channel. Maybe even throw a like, comment. Tell me which guys you're taking because I bet you a lot of you guys have very strong opinions on other people. Tell us about it in the comments. Anyways, back to Ryan. Four sixty at Fanduel. Four seventy five at your book, BetMGM. (laughs) <laughs> um there's yeah i mean there's just a lot of a lot of the same prices so we're not getting a a, a matt modi price banger here but here's the thing sometimes price doesn't matter sometimes data for the hitter doesn't matter sometimes it just matters that he's finally gonna see a guy that he get over that he can hit over the fence max mayer slash meyer lefties this season five home runs and just 92 plate appearances that's right in the sweet spot of where i want to be And then, like I said, McMahon just hit one the other day. I'm going to look at Zeus. I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't think it's good (laughs) on this guy. But like I said, sometimes you just got to go with the feel, man. Home runs aren't always about the smartest bet. Does that make sense? It's about the bet that's going to win. Yeah. Okay, so looking at his logs, it looks like yesterday, not great. Uh, 89 mile per hour, 92 miles per hour. So that's not terrible, Terry. That's way better than I could do. That was against <laughs> Rodri Munoz too. That guy's all over the place. Like he's up there, like standing there fighting for his life because he might get hit. <laughs> like you don't know, you know what I mean. So you're not gonna hit that guy that well. Um, the other thing though is the day before, it looks like he smoked Edward Cabrera a buck eight. Thirty eight feet. Yep. That's yep. Wild. And then a uh, 105 mile per hour. 438 foot home run. He's announcing he's back. That was on the four seam fastball. I think this dude hit sliders too, if I remember right, just from over the season looking at his stuff. Yeah, 372 foot fly out the other day. Um, that's pretty good. 98 mile per hour. Uh, a buck three with a, so that ended up being a 296 foot double. 
I mean, yeah, this guy's kind of back to raking a little bit, but the reason why I'm saying the slider matters is because I, I'm pretty sure this Mayer slash Meyer guy throws the slider quite a bit to lefties, and it is not good. I can confirm that if you would give me. Okay, yeah, so it's 50% barrel rate in the last 30 days, 50% in the air for McMahon. And the slider that this kid throws has like a 389 ISO to lefties. That's awful. Yeah, so the only thing worse than that would be his fastball, which is a 550 ISO to lefties. He throws that 40% of the time. McMahon, in the last month, 12.5% barrel rate, 37% fly ball rate. That, I think, is down. Oh, no, it's a little bit up from his season, so we're good there. The only thing that I'm kind of scared of is it might be Michael Tolia, and, like, that's my guy, and I don't want him yeah. to think that I'm going away from him. But um, at the end of the day, like I said, like, Odd Jam would probably get mad at me for saying this. Sometimes you got to go with your gut, though, Odd Jam. You just do. It's true. This is a home run, dude. It's a lightning strike. This is not – you don't need data. You need a guy hitting the ball hard. That's what you need. And I think we got one right here. I think he's going to hit Mayer slash Meyer over the fence. So, Mayer slash Meyer throws four-seamer about 41% of the time mm -hmm. to lefties, slider 32% of the time. Yep. So that's like over 70% it's just mad. on three pitches. Yeah. And McMahon smokes both of those. Correct. And they're not good fastballs or sliders either. Also correct. So, like, what are we doing? Like, why aren't we just taking McMahon for all the cash? I'm going to bet him straight. I wasn't going to do it. Uh, what I did uh, before you go, you have to. You have one more, right? I got one more. Okay, yeah. Um, before we go, I want to say that the to the Dub Club people, I think I might have cracked the code. They gave us a no sweat bet at FanDuel. They give me $50 on those now, Matt. Wow. SGP, $50. So instead of doing the two-leg two, two leg parlay, I did Harper. I think it was Harper. I'm sure it was Harper. He's the 4 o'clock game today. I did him to get an RBI and a run in four bases. And then... I put in Cruz, which then made it a SGP. So it's basically just two guys that a home run. Is that dumb? I mean, the what Cruz did you do? Um, O'Neal. O'Neal again? Yeah, because he had four bases yesterday. He just didn't get it in the form of a home run. Yeah. It, but so. I did Cruz to get a home run. And then oh. Harper, Harper, RBI, run, four bases. And that added yeah. up to like 260 or 280, something like that. Got it, got it. So, but it, but it, what it does is it turns it into a same game part, a three leg same game because they wanted me to get, put another guy in. Like I don't do that. Yeah, we're going, we're going two on these. You know what I mean? So this way it appeared to be multiple legs when it's not, and it, it actually appeared to be a same game parlay. It appeared, so, yeah. I mean, technically it was, even though it yeah. really wasn't. Even though it's not, it's like did it all basically you're saying this guy's gonna hit a home run. Yeah. But, yeah, so I did that, and then they, you get your money back. And the whole point of me telling you that is that maybe if, like, say it doesn't happen for some reason, which I think it will, but even if it doesn't, I will. I should get the bonus bets before Ryan McMahon takes the uh, takes center stage tonight. Oh, and I might just throw him with Olsen. I like it. And have a, a little $50 <laughs> bonus bet home run party. I, like so I, I just talked myself into McMahon. McMahon is the one that's guaranteed to hit tonight. No chance. Because there's no data. Except I mean, all the data I said. <laughs> it could be him and Tolia. You know what I mean? Like, I yep. have Tolia two oh, days in a row. Shit, dude, that's true. He right, go ahead, man. Any. Go ahead. I don't um, know what right. thinking about this. It might be Tolia. No, no. It could be both. Hey, it could be it both. It could be both. It, it, actually, with, with Meyer slash Mayer on the mound, it could be both. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to go with the guy, Deep Cut. Not a lot of people have heard of him. Uh, his name is Shohei Otani. Okay. Uh, we, we went uh, with him yesterday. Who the hell is that guy? Yeah. Uh, we went with him. You went with him yesterday at plus 400 against the lefty. We're getting him oh, at plus three, 320 today against a righty, which feels like even more disrespectful uh, because it's a right-handed pitcher. And the reason why it's at 320 when normally Otani against a righty, it's like 200. Sorry, the doggies are going crazy outside my office. Um, 
if you can hear that, is because he's going up against Corbin Burns. Good pitcher. This is not necessarily saying he's going up against an awful pitcher, but uh, last 10 starts, he's allowed eight home runs. Corbin Burns has. Five of the eight have come against left-handed hitters. That gives him a home run per nine of 1.6 against lefties in his last 10 starts. Otani, decent, decent baseball player. Much better. Like, he's good against lefties. He's much better when he's facing righties. Iso rate of 385 against right-handed pitching, which is crazy. Looking at the last two weeks, 12 hard hit line drive plus fly balls, which I, again, I call a dong predictor. Three piss mm -hmm. missiles, which is commonly defined, everybody knows it as 100 plus off the bat between 20, 40 degrees of launch angle. And he's going to see a cutter from Corbin Burns about half the time, half of the pitch mix is going to be a cutter. And I mean, the thing with Otani is like any pitch mix you look at is going to be really good because he's really good. It also yeah, it's kind of crazy when I do that, when I want to go through plate IQ. I'm just like, yeah. oh, yeah, Otani sticks out again. And it's like, is there one that he doesn't? If there is one that he doesn't, luckily he's not going to see it tonight because uh, okay. he crushes cutters. That's about half the time. Next up, curveball and changeup. That's the remaining 50%. Crushes those two. And if you look at, yeah, I see you have him up on Zeus. Like 115 mile per hour is off the bat. It's crazy. 110 mile per hour triple. I'm rounding up. That's fine. 100 mile an hour line out. And look at that 115. That was off a cutter. Yeah. So that's all I was looking for right there. I was looking for cutters. Yeah. There's another one. 97.8 miles per hour off the bat. Yeah. No, this dude, he rakes, bro. Like he just, yeah. he is so good. It is crazy. So, age 320 though. That's, that doesn't seem. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 320. Feels like, I don't know, some sort of discrimination. What did he do last night? He had a 98, 99 mile per hour single off Irvin. He just couldn't yeah. get in the air, it looks like. Yeah, he, he could get in the air. It's not his fault. It was a sinker. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't gonna try him. I still think he can hit Cole Irvin over the fence. Even he though has. He didn't. Yeah, so okay. if, you, if you don't mind pulling it up, I just want to oh there you go. But yeah, so three twenty is still available. And look like 285, like the 285 at DraftKings, 290 at Caesar, or uh, sorry, ESPN, 280 at Bavada. The, the shorter the odds get, the more important the discrepancy becomes. So the 320, is, you know, it's a good price when you compare it to any other book. Yeah, no, that's huge. That's really huge. Hey, I'm kidding. They're calling me, dude. They? Yeah, all of them. Um... I think that's gonna do it. I, I'm pretty sure we just went six and zero. Oh. I'm not sure what that's gonna pay, but man, I need a graphic though because I kind of forgot. I know Ryan McMahon's in there. It's on the me. screen now. People okay. are watching. Well, yeah, there you, it's, you want me to say it? I I got it up in front of me. Yeah, go ahead. It's um. So mine, my three: Helio Ramos. Sorry, Elliot. Excuse me. I can't believe Him I too. just said Elliot oh, Ramos. I see it. At, Plus 775, Azuna at plus 370, and Otani at plus 320. You got Matt Olson, great first name, mm -hmm. at plus 425. Vlad, great lineage, at plus 550. And Ryan McMahon, great vibes, at plus 475. Yeah, Ryan McMahon on that list is probably the one. Because that, here's how this works. It's, it's the one where you're like, yeah, I ain't giving that out. And then that guy, it happened to me yesterday. I was like... Give me Ellie, give me O'Neal, and we'll just hope it's not Brian De La Cruz. Just, Guess who that's was. the only Cruz we don't have. And then it was him. And it was yeah. like, man, how did I not see that coming? You know what I mean? This time, got in front of it, saw it coming, 475 banger. That's cr I think I might play this, though, man, because that looks, like, really good. Like, that looks really good. Like, yeah, all six together and just see what happens. I mean, what if we probably, won a million dollars like that? Like we just I mean, like vibes felt good, and we just like won a million dollars. I'm I might already spend it like right now. That's true. That's true. Start quitting jobs, dude. Yeah, Open exactly. vacations, getting everything set up, find people to watch the dogs. You know what I mean? Like get get ready to go. All right, that's gonna do it. Um, I'll be honest with you. What's today's Wednesday, right? So tomorrow's Thursday. There oh, is tomorrow. like. 
bullshit college football tomorrow, but I'm still watching it anyways. I'm just going to treat it like it's like a good slate. I think I saw North Carolina's play in Minnesota, so I might bet that game. Wow. I'm not sure what I'm going to bet, but I'm going to bet something. And I'm going to start making a milli for Saturday. Um, earmuff it, people that can't bet college football player profs. Um, it's going to be one of those. I just I feel like I can get home on like five, six, like plus 1,000 guys. And they have those at DraftKings. So if I drive to New Hampshire, I can bet those, I think. Unless they said I can't do that anymore. <laughs> um, while you were talking, I pulled it up on, on FanDuel, which admittedly is not giving the best price on, on Ram, Elliot Ramos. $53.80 gives us a million dollars. So it's like a half unit. You could win a milli. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, where, where else can you say that? No, nah, I don't think you can. I think there's $50 scratch offs, isn't there? Probably. Like, I never I'm get actually, those. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't. I don't either, but it sounds right. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> if, if I wasn't, I'm, I'm sure there's some people out there that are like buying $50 scratch offs. Uh, you would not win a million, though, I don't think. Probably I don't not. think they give you a million for that. All right. This the home would. run lottery, guys. Love it. All right. So, Matt, uh, tell the people where you're at. We got to go. Yeah. Find me on Twitter at Jedi Modi. And that, that's that. Find me there. Good, 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 good. I'm at Slop Rules on Twitter on youtube on this channel subscribe to it get the notifications on also too we're going live at 4 p.m today to use the tools at odds jam which have been just slaying the books with the ev tool it's been pretty crazy so there is that join me there can't wait to see you thanks for watching